near old man Johnson's house, don't enter it! And, and don't worry, all right, because this probably has nothing to do with the string of murders reported around town. <laughs>
rub me till something happens. What's up, you rub? Holy fuck, who are you? I'm a genie, you rub my lamp. Prove it, do something magic. Yeah. Good enough for me. Does that mean that I get three wishes? Whoa, 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 whoa. In this business, you see, uh, there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? Business? The genie business. You see, I want to give you them wishes. I really do. But in order for me to do that, you gotta do something for me. You gotta rub my lamp. I feel like I already did. That's, that's not rubbing it. You gotta really get in there. Here. Make it wet. Make it shiny. I'm not doing that. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, what, what, what? Come on, keep rubbing for them wishes. I don't know, it just feels weird. Oh my God, do you want the wishes or not? Mm. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're done. I get my wish. I wish my dad was cancer Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, eager beaver. You see, I got the genie rule book here, and it says uh, in order for uh, me to give you some wishes, you gotta suck the lamp. I thought you just wanted me to rub it. Oh, no, 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 my mistake, my mistake, uh, wrong clause here. It actually says, uh, in order for the genie, that's me, to give the recipient, that's you, a uh, wish, the recipient, you again, must uh, stick the lamp between your smelly little toes. This is an Applebee's menu. Whoa, we don't, we don't need to get crazy over here. Look, here, uh, just sign this paperwork, I'll be on my way, you'll get a partial wish, it'll be fine. An NDA? Look, look, sign it or you will never work in this business again. You'll never get another genie, ever. I'll ruin your genie career. Oh, fuck, fuck. You can't arrest me, I'm disabled. Ow, my leg, fuck, ow. <laughs> Send someone down the real quick, that'd be a great help. Okay, yeah, thank you. I am Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Robbie! <laughs> the bomb solving robot. Oh, okay, perfect. I got a bomb right here. If you could just come over here, I'm gonna fuse it, that'd be awesome. Please say thank you to Robbie, the bomb solving robot. Okay. Thank you, Robbie. All right, so I just have a red wire, a blue wire. Uh uh uh. My name is Robbie, the bomb solving robot. No, I, I I know I I just said that. <laughs> Robbie, the bomb solving robots. Okay, thank you, Robbie, the bomb solving robot. Now, if you just come over here, we're, we have like five minutes left. We gotta speed things up here. I will help. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I was just really concerned. <laughs> Uh, Dude, could you just tell me which wire to cut? Please wait. <laughs> For Rubby, the bum solving robot. Okay, fine, fine, we can wait. We only have, you know, four uh, minutes. Uh, uh, uh. Whoops! <laughs> okay, dude, let me just help you out, dude. Do not touch! Do not touch Rubby, the bum solving robot! Okay, no touching, no touching, we get it, okay? I'm just. I die. will call Bobby for help. Who's that? Bobby? <laughs> 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 Robot helping 
robot, I will help Robbie, the bomb solving robot, so that you can accomplish your simple task. There's nothing simple about this! There's like ten different wires! I do what simple minds cannot achieve. <laughs> Dude, I don't like your attitude here! If you do not like my attitude, then Robbie, the bomb solving robot, will call another! That's not what I meant! You are such a good robot, so long as you believe in yourself and your abilities. But, but what about my mommy issues? <laughs> mommy will stand up one day. Well, none of you guys just fucking help me! We're gonna die! My God! <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Tim from HR. I saw you need some defusion help. Yes! Thank you, finally! Oh, uh, hey, robots. Who invited Tim? Nobody likes Tim. Tim stopped us from unionizing. <laughs> no, wait, wait. You stopped them from unionizing? Or oh, something Tim like that. Why don't you cut the red Tim. one? A <laughs> sucker? <laughs> Thank God. Okay, but wait, no, wait. Why, wait, where'd it go? God cannot help you now. Tim has killed us all. Tim ruins fucking everything. No, 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 help me with the rope, please. My name is Robbie the Bomb. <laughs> and now, presenting the Father's Milk audio drama interlude, sponsored by Charmin Ultrasoft. <laughs> Yeah, I got your Whole Foods delivery. Whole Foods what? Whole Foods delivery, courtesy of Amazon. I didn't order you a- sure? <laughs> you didn't order uh, organic eggplant, cucumber, and radish? Uh, for, for Taylor Thompson. Oh, do you know what? I think I actually did. Oh, good. That's my bad. I didn't recognize the name. I thought I ordered them from Amazon. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's understandable. Whole Foods is an extension of Amazon Prime now. Oh, no shit. Yeah, for real. You can scan your Prime rewards and everything. Uh, cool. Of course. Oh, Tim. Yeah, here you go. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Oh, right? No, 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 no. 
spreading. My, my fingers are going so numb. Everything is cold. <laughs> oh God, my end is nigh, and yet there's there's nothing. No light at the end of the tunnel. No angels calling my name. God is a woman, and there is no great pumpkin, Lucy. Oh God, rise up, rise. I, I want to run. I, I want to, I want to jump. I want to sing. I want to dance. I, I want to romp in a, in a cool autumn breeze with a little red hair girl. Just, just one more time. Please, let me go to Spain and run with the bulls. Uh, is my greatest accomplishment going to be this hair transplant? <laughs> Most of all, I never kicked that fucking ball. <laughs> Was it all a waste? Is there no meaning to this fleeting existence after all? Oh, oh, God, tell me! <laughs> Lucy? Lucy? Good grief. <laughs> Father's Milk group chat, circa Wednesday, September 15, 2021, <laughs> the day of the activity fair, color eyes. Did anyone bring Dixie Cups? I brought milk, but I just don't have anything to pour it into. I think I have some laying around. Well, they should be new. I'll go buy some. Jacob, I think my open pack of Dixie Cups is just fine. Hey, gang. I'm running a little bit late. I'll be there in ten. That's fine, <laughs> Merritt. Oh, I have paper plates. We don't need paper plates, Molly. We need cups. Sorry. I'll go stand in the corner. God! What? Asterisk? Good. I meant good. That's my bad. <laughs> Scratch that. I'll be there in 20. I think I hit a deer. Liked by Luke Donnese. <laughs> I have red solo cups. The shot-sized ones? No, the big ones. Those are too big. Fuck off. <laughs> Disliked by Luke Donnese. <laughs> we need to siphon our milk, guys. It's milk shots, milk shots. Nobody wants to drink a full red solo cup of milk. Update! It wasn't a deer. <laughs> it was my sociology professor. <laughs> I'm on my way. Do you have Dixie cups? Oh, shit, I forgot. BRB. I got some solo cups. The big ones? I left the note. Hopefully someone finds them. <laughs> yeah, the big ones. Those won't work. Oh no, those will be fine. What? But you just said- Wait! These aren't Dixie Cups, they're Solo Cups. Oh fuck, does anyone else hear those sirens? <laughs> Question by Luke Donnese. <laughs> Actually, I do. Who died on now? Apparently I did something called a hit and run. A hit and run? I thought you left a note. I did, but apparently the guy was pronounced dead at the scene. <laughs> oh, can someone call my dad? Oh, does your dad have Dixie Cups? Can he bring those? Luke Donnese would like to play Game Pigeon. Come on. <laughs> to the Father's Milk interlude. Hey, Sierra, could you listen to this email and tell me if it sounds weird? Yeah, of course. Great, thanks. <clears throat> Dr. S, hope all is well. Dear. What, do we not want all to be well? No. Good. Hope all is well. I'm just trying to inquire about today's assignment. On campus, it says it's due at 10 a.m., but in class, you said it was due at 10 p.m. I just wanted to confirm the due date. That sounds good to me. Also, I thought I'd mention how great the weather is late. I don't think you need that. I also saw your wife at Jamba Juice yesterday. She was looking mighty fine. Wait. So I, I, I must admit, I couldn't help myself. I, I took her home and I, I bed with her. You fucked your professor's wife? That's her doctor wife. Actually, she got a PhD in math art. You fucked your professor's doctor wife? I didn't fuck her. I made love. I made sweet, sweet love. And then after, she helped me with my assignments. The one I'm writing to you about. Best 
Taylor Charles. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think I can't be your friend anymore. <laughs> 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 so, um, the IUD. It's effective, right? Oh, it's effective, all right. Nearly 100%. It's the best birth control on the market right now. <laughs> That's a relief. I mean, I'm surprised you guys are even still operating. Who would have thought that a Planned Parenthood would be open in Texas? Well, <laughs> we're technically operating as a body shop, <laughs> but that's a secret between you and I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> done. Done. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm one of the best in the game. <coughs> Congrats on your new IED. <laughs> Wait, what? Y you mean IUD, right? Intrauterine devices are illegal here, you silly goose. <laughs> then what the fuck did you put in me? An IED. <laughs> or as we called it back in NAM, <laughs> an improvised explosive device. <laughs> you fucking kidding? Oh, like I said, nearly 100% effective in preventing birth. And life? <laughs> I don't want a bomb inside of my uterus. Yeesh! Women, am I right? <laughs> you never make up their minds. I thought it was an IUD! Yeah, potato, potato. Take it out now! Ooh, okay, I'm sorry, but your insurance only covers the insertion, not the removal. Hey, that reminds me, what's your life insurance policy? <laughs> this has to be illegal, right? Oh, uh, well, it's technically covered under the state's stand your ground law. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, though, right? Your body, my choice. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna die. Speaking of which, unless you have any more questions, I'm gonna go so you can do your whole thing, right? Is there any way to stop this? No. <laughs> This is Jenna Marlborough with Channel 5 News, Orange County. Tragic scene today as a cyclist collided with Bruxy's new crispy chicken food truck. The deep fryer spilled all over them, and now they're not just crispy, they're paralyzed. We are here with two witnesses today. Hi, yeah, uh, I'm David. I go by D-Money on Letterboxd, and I'm a film production major over here at the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts. That is so great. Now, can you please tell us what happened here? You know I can, Betsy. Now, let me set the scene for you, all right? We open on a wide shot. A cyclist rides down Palm. It's golden hour. The sun stretches. We, the we really just need the like, facts. Oh, well, I guess I just mean. Sorry about my friend here. Production majors, so visual. Am I right? <laughs> my name's Nancy. I'm a screenwriting major so I can tell you what happened. <laughs> okay. Exterior, the road, magic hour. Bill, 20, is riding his bike when suddenly a truck pulls out of uh, no- No, um, the, the cyclist was a woman named Mary. When telling a narrative, one must take creative liberties. Oh, I, I totally agree with that. You know, we could film this whole thing in black and white like a racer head. <sighs> I love David Lynch. The best stories are based on real experiences. But you did not have one. Oh, you know, speaking of creative and realistic experiences, have you ever seen Ratatouille? Hello? It's this really niche French oh, art house yeah. film, no, and it's based well, on a real life right? experience. That is not true. Uh, uh, my friend is on the phone. She's a makeup artist. Depending on how bad the accident was, do you think she could take some pics? Because they'd be really good for my AP. I do not know how bad the accident was. That is why I'm interviewing you, the witnesses. Oh. I didn't see it. Well, you know, I did. Uh, hi, David again. Uh, I'm a film production major, emphasis in storytelling, and I go to the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts, ranked number four in the Hollywood Reporter. We just fucking beat UCLA, okay? We beat them. Yeah, Anyways, I swear. So, can I, uh, so, I didn't actually see it, but I felt it spiritually. Do you think I could still be interviewed? This is live. What? <laughs> 
this. Okay. So my friend Meg was hit by a truck. No, and Mary. The cyclist's her? name is Mary. Michelle screamed mm. as the oil from the truck trenched her. Oh shit, I said trenched. Mumble mouth, lol. Can we go for another take? Yeah. Mumble mouth? I have mumble mouth. I think it's a genetic Sir, disorder. sir, um, did you happen to see the accident that took place here oh. earlier today? Why, of course I saw the accident. You see, I see everything. I have to observe. I'm an acting professor here at Dodge. We fought long and hard for this moment, men. Long and hard. <laughs> it's time to make haste and win this war. For England! For England! I thought we agreed that the chant was for glory. Nope, it's always been for England. You know, for glory just wasn't specific enough. Well, I mean, that could be any country, like Ireland. Oh, no, you don't, William. You're always keeping men all distracted, you do. Everyone ignore him. Sire, this could be important. I could be dying. <laughs> Are you dying? No. Then no. I, I was just thinking as all, well, what if we came up with something more interesting? Something like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Something like, Jack of the Bull. Jack of the Bull. Oh, Sire, these are such stressful times. It would lift my spirits. Oh, <laughs> Knights, <laughs> come on, we have more pressing matters. We are at war. You know, I've always thought that the name England was a bit dull. We need something cooler like Kingdom of Wanderlust. That makes it sound like you don't even want to live here. I mean, do you? It's an awfully dismal country, what with all this cold rain. What about... Charles's place. Oh. Charles, you only wanted to be called Charles because my name is Charles. Charles. Oh my, Charles is starting to sound rather odd. We can't call it Charles's place. Where would you put the apostrophe? After the S. Always after the S. English was just invented last week. <laughs> if you want to go on confusing it all, you only add unnecessary E's to the end of everything. Nice. Come on, we have more pressing matters. Now that's an odd word. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> Why do we put a K in there if we don't even pronounce it? I pronounce it with the K. Shouldn't it actually be called Inglande with an E up the end instead? <laughs> actually, it's called Kingdom of Wanderlust now. <gasps> Kingdom of Wanderlust or Ingdom of Wanderlust? <laughs> I say. Charles is placed. <laughs> Enough. By order of the king. By order of the ing, you mean? I got it. How about Ireland? Has a nice ring to it, don't you say? Edward, we're fighting the Irish. This kind of great suppression is exactly why we're losing this war. We're not losing. Everyone, <laughs> look at this magnificent flag I've just drawn up. Oh, <laughs> you never see flags with orange on them. Oh, except, of course, I am it! Oh, oh, that country is oh, incredible! Enough with the Irish! <laughs> William, this is all your fault. See what you did, William. You did this, and now they're all distracted, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose the war! Fuck! <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, sire. He's sensitive! <laughs> Gentlemen, I say we succeed. Build a new nation. Who's with me? Young yeah, mother! Um, come on! I changed my mind. Um, young <laughs> William, I, I'm truly sorry. You all right? Respectfully, sire. Uh huh. Nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Now back to the Father's Milk interlude. We can't do this. It's wrong. How did something?
something this right be wrong? I have a husband. He'll never know. I don't know. He's been acting very strange lately and looking at me differently. Oh, you know what? You know what? What? I think I did email him about it. You emailed him about well, it? Well, I wanted to keep the possibility of a throuple open and, well, that can't happen without absolute honesty on all three ends, you know? I can't believe you. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dr. Dr. Hannah. I'm sorry. Dr. Hannah, I, I love you. And your husband's cool too, I guess. Can you not consider that I'm trying to do what's best for all of us? Well, when you put it that way, I guess. Yeah? I guess I'll talk to him about it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A trial you. run, okay? Okay, okay. This will be worth it, I promise. Now, let's crack open that cucumber. <laughs> so vulnerable with us tonight. I know it must be hard to talk about all that time you spent in that waterlogged cave. I mean, a brother and a sister slowly running out of air and time, waiting for your inevitable deaths, the darkness closing in. Now let's get to some audience questions, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah hi. Um, so I have two. Um, Kevin, or, or Marjorie, uh, how did y'all come up with the idea to pee everywhere to scare off the snakes. Yes, um, so my, I noticed that my brother Kevin had been wetting our shared moss bed, and it was keeping all the insects away. Um, you know, I got the brains of the family, Kevin got the looks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, uh, so you two shared that. Well, the, the cave was really small. Well, it was big enough for some movement. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you said, I thought you said the cave was the size of this room. Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, one more question. Um, when Kevin got bit by that snake, how did you handle the venom, Marjorie? Right, so the bite was on my brother's upper inner thigh, like right below the hip. So all I did was take off the pants and underwear and suck. The, the venom. Suck the venom. Yeah, that's what I said. I took a snake, the snake, and sucked. It was everywhere. The venom was everywhere. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> the, 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 the real issue was the cold. We were scared for the threat of hypothermia, and I knew I had to stay strong for my parents and my sister. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, the adrenaline had gotten to us, and the endorphins were rushing to all our heads. So Kevin and I decided. <laughs> Kevin and I decided to combine our shared body warmth uh, in order to feel better. The nakedness was to make sure we could feel each other in the dark. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, um, you were naked together? In, in a moss bed. Yo, wait a minute. Look, 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 look. <laughs> what we did or didn't do in that cave is really none of your concern. We were scared for our lives. We drank cave water and ate insects. You just, come on, guys. All uh, I could think about was the fact that my brother might be the last person I would ever touch. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Look, so we really don't need anything from people who will never understand what we went through. Yeah, so let's please try to be sensitive to the sibling Paris trauma, okay? Yeah. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, I, I, I seriously don't think I can continue this interview anymore. I, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, babe. Bro. <laughs>
chop, 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 chop. Tinkle and Dinky start having problems. Oh. Tinkle did some shady shit. Tinkle did some sketchy insider trading. Did a pump and dump in the penny stock market. Ooh, ah, ooh. Cha 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 cha. Dinky confronts Tinkle. Why'd you do this? Uh -oh. You're too optimistic. The real world's not thus. Uh -oh. You betrayed me. No, I have not. Maybe you are. Dinky, to get to where we got, we had to do what we had to do, okay? It's a cutthroat world out there, unless you're willing to play with the big boys. What? You don't stand a chance. You did inside the trading, Tinkle, without telling. Well, you wouldn't exactly have approved. Of course I wouldn't have approved. You violated our fiscal contract. You breached a policy of fiduciary duty. You're blowing this out of proportion. I don't think I am. Everyone does it. Well, what about the pump and dump? You think I didn't know about that, huh? This isn't what it looks like. Oh, really, Tinkle? It isn't what it looks like, because it looks like he just screwed us both over. What, you think the SEC will be on our tails after this? They won't find out. And what if they do? I'll take the fall. You can't do that, Tinkle. You can't do that. You know why? Because both our names are on those sales. Both our names are on those contracts. Dinky. Tinkle! We entered this as a team, Tinkle. And now, now we're done. I'm done. Tinkle and Dinky, worst of friends Worst of friends until the end Avoid each other at the airport Tinkle starts going on a downward trend Ooh, ah, ooh Cha-cha, cha-cha Tinkle got really drunk one day, one day. Called Dinky in a really bad way Hey there Dinky, not feeling real good What's going on? I see your house is made of wood Wait, what? Ooh, Tinkle. Ooh, ah, Tinkle. Tinkle. Ooh. Cha 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 Tinkle burns Dinky's whole house down Dinky got out only with a frown Tinkle goes to jail for charges of arson A danger to the greater population Ooh, ah, ooh Cha 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 Dinky doesn't visit Tinkle even in prison Tinkle's lonely, has no mission Dinky is alone now, no more friends They're not there for each other, never, never again Ooh, ah, ooh Cha 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 You know them? I know them. 
Paulina! I'm sorry, are you talking in this class? Yeah, don't worry about it, honey. We would have been here sooner, but somebody got stuck in the lobby broom closet. Can't take him anywhere. It's not my fault. I got all confused and I thought it was the bathroom and I walked in and long story short, I peed in a bucket. <laughs> you peed in a bucket? Again? <laughs>
Shake spear. Shake spear. Shake spear.
is my parents' house. You can't just walk in here. Just yeah. Take a seat. Okay. Just sit. Jesse, this is an intervention. Um, but I don't do drugs, so. You know what this is about, Jesse? No, not that. The phones, Jesse. Not the Garfield phones. <laughs> Since the year 1983, hundreds of Garfield phones have been mysteriously washing up on the coasts of Western France. Please, we all know. Did you expect me to stay calm about that? Forget about that sleep at night knowing that Garfield phones can mysteriously spawn from the depth of the ocean. Five thousand dollars. What? You spent upwards of five. Thousand dollars on two separate washed up authentic Garfield phones on the western French coast? It's, it's fucking unhealthy, Jesse. The hands I needed them for research purposes. Research purposes? So, okay. Michael told me about the time he. Oh. he walked in on you mm -mm. at the Halloween mm -mm. party, nope. Jesse? Mm -mm. Dude. I saw you. I saw you with the Garfield phones, douching the Garfield okay, phones! I think I understand what's going on here. I. <laughs> 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 I'll get it. Well, Jesse, no. No, come on, this is unhealthy. It's a step in the wrong direction, please. Jesse! Yeah. Ah! Oh, we're ready for you. Come on in. Wait, ready for who? <coughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Thanks for gathering everyone here. Mom, Dad, thank you for coming. Uh, Kevin, what's going on? Who are all these people? Hello, Michael. Michael, this is an intervention. Uh, yeah, this is your intervention. Not anymore, kiddo. What? Michael, Michael, Michael. You gotta stop banging my mom. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, he's right. Listen, you know me and your mother have been exploring an open relationship <laughs> in our later years of marriage. And while that's fine, when I found out that my wife was banging your 20 year old best friend, I knew I had to intervene. I mean, look at this little knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> look, Michael, either you stop banging my mom or we can't be friends. Jesse, look, it's, it's not that easy. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for what I'm about to say, but... But your mom's got that goose. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! No, okay! <laughs> so we're gonna pretend like Jesse's Garfield phone problem isn't the bigger issue here? I mean, come on. <laughs> that was all a lie, Michael. What? The only time and place that worked for all of our schedules was here, today, at my parents' house. And I knew you wouldn't come without a good reason. But I saw you. I saw you douching those phones, Jesse! <laughs> I was a theater major, Michael! <laughs> that was some method acting for you. Michael, I agree with the group. Look, you, I can stop seeing at any time, but <laughs> I think you're just brutally addicted to that gush gush. <laughs> oh, Jesus, and I thought being a Disney adult was bad. <laughs> Michael, my man, you really got it bad, huh? With the gush gush. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> you're probably wondering why we've gathered here
What's up, Rap? What's up, Focus right 